Mili Bundu, meaning water is life. From the foundations of the world, water has always been a part of our environment. While some people believe they are to be worshipped or prayed to, others use it freely as a resource from God. In this video, Anido TV explores the rivers in Nibi and Ambra State. Keep watching and you might see one that you're familiar with, either by names or historic significance. <music> This is Mili Mbaze, still natural, untouched by any form of civilization. The Mbaze stream splashes beautifully as it moves through the rocks. It's indeed the jewel of the forest, curving gently out to the open for use by all. I took a drink and it was very refreshing. Hopping over the rocks with a splash-like sound, Mili Mbaze can be described as a happy stream. That's the Mbaze stream. It's at the fountain. It means I can't really handle my example, but then this is really beautiful. It's still untouched, very natural. I've tested it, of course, it's without preservatives and all of that, and it's really, really interesting. Okay, so a peculiar thing about this milling party is that you don't test the water on a cave market day. There are four market days in Igbo land, they will pour a cave or a and a four market days. So nobody comes to Mili Mbazi, that's the Mbazi stream on a cake market street. Because probably there are other rules. Yeah, like another it. rule that is very, that any stranger would, would hear easily would be that you don't enter the stream with your, your, your footwear. Oh, so you leave your footwear so outside. You yes. had us remove our your footwear, footwear yeah. before we you leave your, yeah, leave your So your it's not footwear. like a part of keeping it clean or anything. <laughs> I, I guess that in the wisdom of the ancients, okay. that could also be it. But then, uh, this rule is from time room. immemorial. Yeah, it's been a long time. So when you come here, you find that everybody say pass we just go around and around. People will be uh, in the stream. Awesome. Like when I said people used to swim there. Children, I, I, yeah. I, I guess they still Maybe. do swim there. Okay. But since we are no longer children, we don't, yeah. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> I know. I know children will still come here to swim and you know have a good time. But it actually helps. Removing my shoes helps me to experience it. Freshness that's the idea of the water. That's the idea. I think that's, oh, that's are the things good. that inform those mm -hmm. rules. Okay. Yeah, you feel closer to nature when you're you are barefooted. Yes. And your feet against the, the sun. So All right. Nice. So we'll be leaving <coughs> Mili Mbazi. Catch us on our next location. This is Dida Nebo TV and we're here with Yeah, my name is Kelly Boke Kenyo. I can also an I'm yes. from Akambili. This visit to rivers in the Navy revealed the beauty of nature as sweet perfume of the forest drifted through our nostrils. Don't forget to like this video. So what's your take on natural water bodies? Let us know in the comment section. We're currently at Mile Zengo at Ukumili Navy. This river holds good memories as it used to be a bonding spot for young people. As the people moved to other sources of water, the purpose of Mileze began to transform into a mini hub for each other, the performance of sacrifices. With mountains standing silently in the background, Mileze has become almost covered with trees and wet ground, revealing a quiet but magical atmosphere. So we are right at Ezembana, that's the stream. One of the streams in Nevi and Anambra State. It used to be bigger than this. Yeah, that means that over strong. time, yeah. the water it either increases or reduces. I, I also think that it's been taken over. I think this these shrubs that grew here, there used to be one ungo. You know, the okay. this color yeah. ungo that used to be here, there about somewhere here. I think it the water just it was just overgrown by um, by weed. So of this. course, in there is still the water, mm -hmm. yeah, but then because the people have not been making use of it for yeah. a while. The trees, the shrubs, and everything is it beginning to no grow in inside it. For, for the purpose, when we were younger, this yeah. place used to be a place where we come to wash clothes, okay. fetch water, and also um, onubo, eho onubo, what's it called? Wash our bitter leaf, bitter leaf, leaf. Bitter leaf soup. Yeah, but then it appears that the purpose has changed to a place for sacrifice and all that. So yeah, young boys and girls, of, um, yeah, young boys and girls used to come down here. This is like be our swimming pool. This is where I learned how to swim. So yeah, we went out to see. I'm very surprised. First time here in 20 years, anyway, to see that okay. it's now the way it is. It really looks like a good <laughs> um, tourist site. That's yeah, with better maintenance, is. of course. I, the yeah. topography really looks like something that you know we can uh, yeah. work so, with. Something else about government. this about this river, right? Mm -hmm. Back in when it was bigger than yeah. this now. 
I used to have what they call all, I think it's a, it's a kind of sand that it can hold your leg. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what you are swimming, it will hold your leg. So if you're not very careful, you're not a good swimmer. Yeah, you used to have casualties then. People oh. who almost got drowned or drowned, you know. Yes. Because, because of, of that, the kind that, of sand. Oh, no, the sand there, yeah. There. Once your leg gets there, it keeps and I'm sure sinking such, you in. Such sands will be it's still good be there, for now. maybe construction purposes and all of that. Uh, who knows? I think it's but, muddy. Wow. This is, this is something. Like, I can, I can feel that this ground is soft. Like yeah. softer than normal ground too. Okay, and of course, as you can see, palm there, are, are, still here. I think they there are lots of um, yeah, palm trees. fetish things around. So, <laughs> and actually, yeah, there, but the purpose now a shift. Is it's just a vegetarian is, uh, water yeah, to a so religious it's, one. It's, it's becoming a religious. <laughs> 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 if we must put it like that. Right here is Milie Zembana, also called Milionugo, the bitter leaf stream, because it is the number one source of water and facilities for the preparation of bitter leaf for use at home or for sale at the Nkwa market. The sale of bitter leaf, though seen as a small enterprise, has become a multi million business. From dawn till very late at night, people are seen at Milionugo washing, squeezing, and packaging bags of bitter leaf. At noon, the bridge provides shade to the people processing bitter leaf at Milionubu. So we're heading to Ezembana, also known as uh, Milionubu. Like people process, if you can look in front of me, you will see someone that is into the business of bitter leaves. He's already, you know, preparing for the day's business. So we're still at Akamili, at Midli Ezembana, one of the streams in Ennewi. We'll be showing you the stream in a bit so keep watching and do tv yeah no because um onubo is a very important uh, dish in the ibo in ibo events yes. whether you are having a wedding or a funeral or whatever thing you're having onubo is like, like a compulsory menu uh, food mm -hmm. that has to be on the menu and so here has become a processing event, center you must see yes. onubo soup for it's, events it's in it's onubo and then others <laughs> <laughs> the only two soups in Anambra, two soups, and others. Onubu soup and others. Yeah. That's interesting. Oh, see, there are more bags of bitter leaves coming up. They are preparing for processing. So these are their shades. You can see the baskets that they use. And a lot of other mini facilities. These are examples of how you know, businesses can thrive without government intervention. Yes, you know, they are actually thriving. It's if a commercial at, place. Has, they be up to like, uh, it, it could be running into millions now, a million or a million dollar, a million naira of uh, industry. But then, Definitely. You see how they are doing it locally? Because people are <laughs> beginning to earn from it. A lot of, of money. Of course, they buy from different places. Some people The man who just came here, said from Oruku, he got yes. his own Onubu, back of Onubu from Oruku. Yeah. So Onubu come as far from, uh, from Oruku to this place. And so, then they naturally so process you, it. It tells you that um, it's become a very big industry. So these chairs here, these um, benches yeah. are for the business. You can see the baskets, you can see the benches that they use for it. So yeah. they've already started the processing for the day. This is a this, this is this is millions of Naira industry. Yeah. Uh, they process this on the So this is how <laughs> they process it. Without government intervention, people are making a living. Flowing now, and they work here. They, they are here even at night. Sometimes pass here by nine. You know, nine, still nine, see them. Nine, nine, ten. ten. Yeah. They're here. They're, they're here processing. It's like throughout the day. So anytime you come day. here, you see people processing. By night, you see them. Here. You see them with their lanterns awesome. and their torch. You know, doing what they know how to do best. Getting it ready. Young men, young women, market. old women. You know. Doing their thing. So it's not eating of age, Abby. No, it's not eating of age. The industry is actually yeah, taking a lot of people. It is said that rivers are roads of the forest, and this particular one is a typical example as it ceaselessly flows to other parts of the state. This stream is located at Akamili Omudin, Newi, Anambra State. Biakaija Gwomili Nupo, meaning come, let's swim at Upo. Ubupo is a massive water body along the boundary between Newi North and Newi South local government areas. Aside hosting shrubs, Ubupo is also home to some aquatic animals as colorful fishes were seen swimming in the river. 
However, Ubu is notorious for taking people who come to fish from the river. So the community banned its residents from fishing from the Ubu or River. Till date, people still swim, wash clothes, and enjoy the serenity of the environment. And we're here at Ubu, it's at the boundary between Newi North and Newi South local government of Anambra State. So of course, you can see some persons are already swimming. It's, it looks very safe, at least. And then people can also come here to wash their clothes. And it's really a natural place to just chill and relax. Like the air here, it's a bit refreshing. And it's really, really part of the things that Mother Nature has used to bless this particular community. And of course, the water extends beyond what we can see. The trees are actually almost encroaching, but of course, it's still very deep. And of course, it's still something that um, the community, the residents of this area should be very, very proud of. This is still an Edo TV. Keep watching as we bring you the latest egocentric content. Keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the next video of the greatest rivers within Anambra State. Of course, even bigger than the ones you've seen in this video. This is Mili Saint Abele, located at Umwezina, close to Akamili. It used to be bigger than it looks today, but due to the bridge and other construction works that has been happening in the area, it has now reduced to what we can see in the video. We'll subsequently bring you more stories of other water bodies within Anambra State because there's definitely more. Stay glued to our channel as you like, subscribe and share this video.